fiesta time again. Today it's time for part four of our fiesta cal, which is going along just great. I'm having such fun, you guys. Uh, today I just wanted to take a moment and uh, give a little thanks where thank is due to my wonderful team because um, I'm an independent designer, so and I'm really proud and happy to be working independently and not in in you know working with a big yarn companies or anything, it's just me. But it's really not just me because I could not do any of this if I hadn't, didn't have the support of my wonderful team, which is, first of all, obviously my testers who have done wonders and are so great and are doing all these beautiful versions. And then there's the translators. We have now Fiesta in eight languages, which is just amazing. English, Icelandic, Swedish, Spanish, Portuguese, French. Dutch and German. I mean, it's just wonderful. So thank you so much, you guys, the translators. And last but not least, my admin team. You've really, I mean, you're my backbone. You know this, and I'm so grateful for all your, all your help. And just the best team ever. So a great big shout out to my English roses, Jenny and Sue, to uh, Aruna in Singapore, to Sui in India, to Christine in France, to Julia down under in Australia, to Iris from Puerto Rico, and Anne-Marie from Scotland. So we are really, really a great international lot. And it's just, your support means so much to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I could not do this without you. So now back to business. Uh, today it's another octagon towel, the third and final octagon flower. And we're gonna be doing the daisy octagon. As you can see here, Voila. and I'm going to take you through it every step of the way, as usually, and show you how to make this one. Um, so let's just get to it. Okay, so today it's time for our third and final flower octagon for the fiesta. It's the daisy flower you see here, and you can make all different types of variation with colors, of course, as before. I just wanted to tell you uh, before we start that depending on your size, if you're making the baby version, you will need four daisies. If making the medium one, you'll need to make six for the large one, 11, and for the full Fiesta 21. So let's get started. Okay, like for the last two parts, I'm always starting in round four here because the first three rounds are always the same. So now we start with round four and we're introducing our main, main color here, color B. But uh, as usual, I like to use a different color for the details in the center. What this color here will do now is this flower outline here. And for this, actually, I really like using a bit thinner yarn if you're using different types from your stash. And especially like this one here has a bit of a shine to it because it's a, a lovely silk alpaca blend. So if you're mixing with your stash, uh, it's uh, really nice to use just a bit thinner yarn for these rounds here to make really make it pop. So now at when finishing round three, then I'm going to join here into the first single crochet of the round. Uh, into the back loop as always with a slip stitch and one chain. And now we're going to be working trebles into the first round and trebles you work you yarn over twice and then we go into the first round here and work one treble here. One, two, voila, two and three. And then you do three single crochets and you can work over your tail here you see. Three single crochets. One, two, and three. And as always we're working the single crochets into the back loop. And again I'm going to show you the repetition. It's one treble into the first round like so. And then three single crochets. First one lands in the single crochet before the DC from last round, the second one into the back loop of the DC, and the third one into the single crochet after the DC. Like so. So this is the repetition for round four in Daisy. One treble into the first round and then three D uh, single crochet stitches. And now I've finished almost all of round four. I've done the last treble here you see and now I'm just going to finish with three single crochets. Like so. And 
and I'm going to join with a single crochet, no, with a slip stitch into the back loop of the first treble of the round using color A again, the flower color, like so. So that's round four complete. Let's just get right on to round five. And now again with color A, I'm going to work one chain, one single crochet here, one DC into the, the single crochet stitch here, one front post DC around the double crochet from round three, and another DC, just a normal one here. And then I'll be doing, and this is the increase here, so I'm backing up a bit, you see here, going to do three single crochets. So let's just do the repeat once more so it's all clear. This is the the increase, the three single, the first single crochet and the, set, and the last one here. And so now when we do the double crochet, I'm backing up a bit, going into the stitch right below the last single crochet like so, one double crochet, one front post double crochet, and another double crochet here, and then the three single crochets. This is the repeat for round five. Okay, so now I'm on to the last repeat of the round, just to show you again, one double crochet, backing it up there a bit, one front post around the DC from round three, another DC here, on this one actually lands on a joint, so I'm going to choose the, 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 the lower stitch, and then I finish this repeat with only two single crochets, because we started with, with one, remember, so total we have five, no, three. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round using color A again. So that's round five. Okay, so on to round six. Again, we're working with color B here, the main color for the detail in the center. And I'm going to start with one chain, like usually. And I'm now, now I'm going to do one front post DC around my treble here from round four, and so I'm backing up again a, a bit, going to my right. If you're left-handed, you will be doing this around the treble that's to your left, not right. Okay, so I'm just gonna yarn over and do a front post DC around this treble here, you see? It's the same color, treble. And then I do three single crochets into all the DCs from last round. And then I'm going to do a front post around the treble here to my left, like so. And again, I'm going to do three single crochet stitches here now. One, and this one actually goes kind of behind this uh, front post I was just doing. One, two, and three. Now this is the repeat, I'm going to show you one more time. Now you yarn over and you do your front post around the treble to your right. And so I'm doing this one around the same one as I did my last front post. So there are two front post DCs around each treble. And then three single crochets into the DCs, like so. And then another front post DC here around my treble. And then another three single crochets. So this is the repeat for round six. Okay, so now to finish round six, your second last front post will go into the, the, the one to your right here, like so. And then you do the three single crochets. And then your last double crochet will go around the same treble as your first fr front post crochet, a uh, double crochet. Also, uh, the one at the beginning of the round, and then you finish it with 
three single crochet stitches. Up, up, one, two, and three. And now we join into the back loop of the first front post DC of the round using color A again, the flower color. So that's round six. Okay, on to round seven then. And working again with our flower color. I already did the one chain, and now I'm going to do one single crochet here, always into the back loop. And then I'm going to do two front post DCs together. And those go around the first and the third of the DCs from round five. So around these two here, we're going to skip the one in the middle. So yarn over, do a front post here, around the first DC there. And yarn over again and do the second front post around this one here, skipping the one in the middle. Like so, and then closing them together. And this is going to be like the inside of our small flower petal here. And now we continue and do one single crochet here, not into the front post, but into the this uh, single crochet next to it. Like so. And we're going to skip this stitch here, the front post DC from last round. And I'm going to do three double crochets into a bit of a tricky stitch here. You see, it's the, double, the single crochet here from round five into the middle one there. So it's one, two, and three. And then we skip again our front post here. We do one single crochet here. And I'm going to show you the front post again. Yarn over, do the first front post around the first DC here of the three. Yarn over again, skip the middle one and do the second front post around the last of the three DCs there. And then you close them all together. One single crochet here skip the front post from last round and these here actually and just work your three DCs into the middle stitch here like so so that's the repetition i actually have a small variation for this round too i'm not going to exactly show you but if you want to keep the color you see you can do different colors for the inside here of the petals and this here. Like this would be the normal way if you just do it with two colors like I'm doing now. You see, then it's just the same color. But if you want to do another color inside and a, and a different color for the petals here, then you will work this seventh round using the intarsia method. And that just means that you use one color to do these here three the, the single crochet and the double and the double crochets and the single crochet and then you will use the the center color for the flower color here in the middle to do these front posts here. So I'm not gonna exactly show you but if you know how to do it you can do it. I'm making some like this. Um, yeah but that's the repeat for round seven. Okay so now I've almost finished round seven here and in the end you just do the same you skip the front post here. And you do three double crochets into the middle stitch here, all into the same, like so. And then you join into the first, again we skip this uh, front post here and we join into the back loop of the first single crochet of the round using color B again. Oops, split there. There we go. So this was round seven. And let's just move on to round eight right away. I'm gonna work my one chain here in the beginning. And now we start and we do two front post DCs together around the front post DCs from, last, uh, from round six here, you see, the dark blue. So I'm gonna yarn over and I'm gonna go around my dark blue here and do a front post like so. And there's two together, so I'm not going to finish it. I'm going to keep my two loops up here. Yarn over again 
and go around the next front post here you see and do another front post there and then I close the two together so I'm really closing up these petals here now and then we work five single crochets one two three four and five like so I really like this round actually I'm gonna show you one more time so yarn over do your now we're gonna do two front post DCs together one goes here around the first DC the other one goes around the second here always you're gonna be working around the same color as you have on your hook and now I close them up like this and again five single crochets easy peasy <laughs> of course when I say that <laughs> I drop, drop my my uh, loop. Very nice to know. <laughs> but so this is the repeat for round eight. Okay, so just wanted to show you the last repetition of round eight. It's again the two front post double crochet together here around the front post from last round in the same color. One here and one here like so, and then you do five single crochets. On the last one, let's here in the join, and I'm gonna work around my tail. Like so, and then I'm gonna join into the back loop of the first uh, two together here, double crochets in the beginning of the round, like so. So that's round eight for you. Okay, on to round nine, and I'm just going to cut my yarn here, yarn B, because I'll be changing colors for the back, for the main color in round ten. Okay, so now we're going to work round nine, the color A, the flower color. So we start with one chain, as always, and now I'm going to do two double crochets into the next stitch, which is the single crochet here, you see. Two double crochets here. one double crochet into the next one and now we get to a bit of a tricky part now we're going to do one front post around the middle DC from round seven and we're doing an increase so I'm going to add here in the back one single crochet and another double crochet around the same one kind of dividing it up here for the petals and then we just mirror and do one double crochet here in the next stitch and two into the next one. And to get a neater form for our petal here, I'm just going to skip this stitch here. So, show you once more the repeat. Two double crochets into the same stitch. One double crochet into the next one. Up. And then comes the front post here. One front post. DC, one single crochet into the back loop of the stitch that is right behind the one we just worked into. And another front post around the same as we did the first front post there. And then come again one double crochet here and two into the next one and again skip this one here so that's the repetition for round nine okay so now i'm here at the end of round nine and i'm just going to show you the repeat once more we skip the two together here and we work two double crochets into the first stitch one double crochet into the next and then we come to the middle DC here of the three that we did in round seven and we're gonna do front posts around this one one front post DC one single crochet into the in the loop behind here and another double cro uh, front post here around the same and then we do 
one double crochet here and two into the last stitch and that's a join so we go to the lower stitch two here and then we're going to join into the back loop of the first DC of the round and now actually I'm introducing my other color B which is the main color will be the backdrop you see so we join like that with a slip stitch so that's round nine for you okay so on to round ten gonna be working with color B now or my other main color so just to show you color B in the beginning would be this one here and now I'm working with this main color so you change here color B if you're doing two separate ones so chain one and then we're gonna do three single crochet stitches so I'm gonna work over my tail here one, two, and three. And now comes one DC, and it's a bit tricky getting to this one. So it goes into the single crochet stitch from round eight that's in between the two double crochets, uh, front posts here from last round. So you kind of have to like go in here and just go fishing, really. <laughs> there it is. One double crochet there. And this is the repeat one, double crochet, and then eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then again, the double crochet in the fishing expedition here. Uh, uh, uh. It is there, but you just, you gotta have faith. <laughs> so this is the repeat for round 10. One double crochet and then eight DCs over all the DCs from last round here. Okay, so now I've done the last the nasty DC here and we finish round 10 with five single crochets because remember we started with three so now we have a total of eight adding these five at the end here like so and working over my tail here with the last one and then like always we join into the first single crochet into the back loop with color a again slip stitch like this and one chain so this is round 10 let's continue to round 11. i did the one chain and now i'm going to do one DC here into, you see, this one goes to, down to here. And then I'm going to do one front post DC around the front post from round nine. And then there are three single crochet, and this is really an increase here. So I'm going to pull this a bit like this, and you're going to do first single crochet here, the second one into the, the DC, and the third here. So one two and three and now we go for the repeat one front post dc around the front post from round nine six dcs just one into each of the next double crochet stitches from round nine two three four five and six and then we do one front post DC and three single crochet so this is the repeat for round 11 and as in before in the star flower you see we're always doing a front post here in the first and the last DCs of the petals okay so now I'm here at the end of round 11 I've done my three single crochet stitches and I'm going to finish here by doing one double crochet, uh, front post double crochet here around the front post from round nine. And then come five DCs here at the end. One, two, three, and the fourth lands on a join. And always remember on the join to choose the lower stitch here. Four and five. 
and then we join into the first DC of the round into the back loop with yarn B my color like so so that's round 11 okay on to round 12 now we're working with color B again the main color I start with one chain and one single crochet into the back loop of the front post DC here for last from last round and I'm gonna do three double crochets here one two and three and then come eight single crochets all into the back loops of the DCs from last round four five six seven and eight and then just again three Ds here DCs here it's very simple this round now we're finished with all the details so this is the repeat for round 12 three DCs and eight single crochet here over the DCs Okay, so now I'm almost finished here with round 12. I just did the three DCs here, the last ones, and then we finished the round with seven single crochet because we did one in the beginning and then we have a total of eight here like in the other repeats. And the seventh goes here into the join, like so, working over the tail. Okay. And then we join into the first single crochet into the back loop with color A again, like that, and chain one. So that's round 12. Okay, so on to round 13. We're going to work with color A again. And this is the last round I'll show you here in this tutorial, because then the rest of the octagon is just the same as part two, the star flower octagon. So round 13 we're gonna I already did my chain one and I'm gonna work four single crochets the first one goes into the first DC here two three and four and I'm gonna do one front post DC around the front post from round 11 and then come two DCs Hoppala here one and two, one into each of the next two stitches. And then I'm gonna do two DCs together into the two middle stitches here. One and two, and close them up together. And then another two, one into each of the next two stitches. And then there are five single crochets here. One into the single crochet, then the three here over the three DCs, and then one more because we're always um, increasing here. This is the space between the petals. Five. So this is the the um, repeat now. Five single crochets, and then we do front post DC around the front post from round eleven. Two DCs, one into each. Then two DCs together here in the middle of the petal. Closing up together like this. This is a decrease. And then two more and the front post. So that's the repeat for round 13. Okay, so now we're here at the end of round 13. I already did my five single crochet stitches here. And now I'm going to finish the last petal and I'm going to do one front post DC, two double crochets, one into each of the next two stitches, then two double crochets together here in the middle, one and two, and then closing them together. And then again, two DCs. And here we actually, the next one lands on the joints. So always remember to choose the lower loop available. And then there's one front post and this last repeat we finish with only one single crochet because we started with four remember so then we have a total of five here and like always join into the back loop of the first stitch of the round like so with a single crochet so this is 
round 13 for you. And this will be the last round that I'll show you for Daisy because round 14 to 23 are exactly the same as for the star flower that we did for, la for part two. So either now you can continue with the written pattern if you have that or double back and go and check out part two of the Fiesta Cal to see the rest of, of Daisy, the Daisy octagon. And here is the final product. Okay, you guys, that's uh, all there is really for our Daisy Octagon. This was part four of my Fiesta Cal. Uh, it's a total of six parts, so we're off officially halfway done, and now we're moving on to the second half. Um, here you go, this is the Daisy. Uh, next time we'll be doing the triangles and joining and then the sixth and final part is the border. Uh, before I say goodbye, I want to give a big shout out to my group members over at Facebook and Tina's Facebook Club. Cro Tina's Crochet Club, sorry. <laughs> um, it's been such fun interacting with you guys there and you're just so positive and wonderful. I mean, it's just beautiful. Obviously, as you can see, halfway into the cull now, I'm getting all mushy and <laughs> sentimental. But it really is such fun to do a crochet along because you really get a, a unique chance to interact with everybody working with your patterns. And it's just the best, you know, I love it. Um, yeah, I think I didn't even do any practical stuff in the intro. Uh, all the practical information you will find here below in the description, the pattern link over on at Ravelry, my... my um, uh, website where you can find the yarn starts and the Facebook group where we're having all the fiesta fun so if you're on Facebook please do join us so I'll see you next week you guys for the tri triangles and joining and I can't wait to see all your daisy octagons popping up in all kinds of lovely colors so ciao see you next time <laughs>